Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Tina. Okay. Uh, now, uh, this is the last. No, because this one related to another one. Okay. Uh, this is another GSP action. A uh, standard action I want to talk about. It's called a Java use bin. And uh, this uh, GSP use bin can be do two things. The first one, uh, it can locate a bin, okay, uh, if, if it already exists, okay. But if it doesn't exist, then it will create a bin for you. So it depends on in your uh, full scope, page scope, request scope, session scope, application scope. If it already exists for the bin, it will just uh, locate it. Okay, then in current page, you can use uh, you can using this uh, bin ID to refer for that and to retrieve the property values. Uh, because Java beans uh, come uh, J J JSP use bin comes out before uh, J uh, e ER expression, which is uh, expression language. Uh, if I remember correctly, uh, GSP use bin comes in uh, GSP use bin comes out in GSP one point one, and uh, your expression comes out in two point oh. Do you still remember uh, the reason why we need to using uh, expression language? Because of a script lit, right? Because the designer doesn't record, doesn't know about those dynamic code like a script lit and expression. It's weird. So after that, GSP uh, standard action comes out. Okay, it look like uh, uh, HTML, like a predefined HTML element, and uh, so uh, between expression language and the script lit, it has a GSP uh, action which can be also used to retrieve attribute from scope. Okay, I will show you later. And if it doesn't exist, then it will actually get it. Okay. And uh, the syntax is like this one. Oh, I have to, I have to grab this thing here. Syntax, laser, uh, GSP, USB. Okay, directly use them, available in every GSP. ID. ID gonna be that uh, key, okay? Suppose I have a page scope. Uh, this is not that convenient. Suppose I in my uh, in my uh, scriptlet, okay, or in your servlet, you have a request dot set attribute, and here is called the P person, and here I have a new person. Okay, like like this. This P, if you want to locate it, you have to using the this instance instance name gonna be the P. Okay, this is for lo lo locate. If it means create, it can be any uh, variable or identifier. And you have a full scope, and the default scope is a page scope. So if it's a request scope, you have to mention scope is a request. Otherwise, you cannot get it. And class name, it's gonna be package name plus class name, like in this case, could be some example dot person, okay? Type, uh, type cannot use alone. Type mostly is used with class and also the bin name. The reason is the type, suppose, uh, do you remember our last example? We have a person, we have employee. Employee extends on person, right? So when we call new employee, okay? And the class gonna be the employee class. The type, it can be a person. Because uh, employee extends on the person. So the type here, the type here can be exactly the same as class, can also be what? Can also be a super type of this class. Uh, the value you specified here that's a type okay and the bin name bin name is a, it can be exactly same as the class name it can also have expression which can be evaluated and another thing is bin name it gonna use the, the this method to instantiate our bin which is being instantiated but eventually it is still using that default non-argument constructor 
okay the advantage probably is you can use the expression here okay the class i didn't see and again since the class and b name both can be used to uh uh, represent uh, I will create an uh, instance based on class or the bin name right so class and bin name you cannot use them together you have to choose one of them if you uh, want using GSP use bin this is one so uh, that's the theory part okay about GSP use bin and uh, next one I will show you a demo because I want to keep the videos as short as possible so you have you don't need to uh, watch a very long uh, videos okay and if you like my video please like comment and subscribe thank you bye bye